For over 20 years, Exploration 5 has been working with kids throughout Polk County to promote the five senses and the importance of science. With us today is Sue Schulander, the Educations and Operations Director from Exploration 5's Children's Museum. Thank you so much for coming out today. Thanks for having me. Well, as we're starting to get into the fall season, I know that you have a lot of really exciting things upcoming that uh, will really be of a lot of interest to local kids. Uh, can you tell us about some of them? We do. One of the, the biggest ones for us and the most fun is what we call Boo Bash. And it's on Friday, October 25th, which is that last Friday uh, before Halloween, and it is an out-of-school day. So we anticipate it could be a busy day for us, but our Boo Bash um, starts at 10 in the morning, goes to 1 in the afternoon, and we have all sorts of hands-on fun activities for kids to explore the five senses um, in relation to the seasonal holiday of Halloween. So I brought a few with me. Are you game? I am always game. All right, we're gonna start out with a spider web. Now, in order to help you learn how a spider builds its web, I'm gonna give you this box, okay. and in here we have a black sheet of paper because if you have that, you'll be able to see it much easier, okay? Now, a spider builds its web from going side to side to build all those anchors. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're gonna do, I brought some white paint here. I have some marbles. I'm gonna put these in the box, and what I want you to do is to tip the box back and forth, back and forth, and this will put it over here and give you two of them actually. Okay. okay. And just roll your box back and forth with the marbles roll across the paper. And you can actually design your own spider web oh, there. How fun is this? Yeah, and you can roll it back into the corner where the paint is there and then roll it out again. Now it's not as neat as a spider web would be. Spider webs are very, very precise but it looks like a spider web and you can do it yourself. My kids are gonna be very jealous of me when I go home and tell them what I was doing at work today. Well, you know, you could do this at home or you could come to our Boo Bash or our Kids Night at the Museum and be able to make your own. How fun is that? That is, is that great. Good? All right. So it's really hard to explain how a spider web is developed, but if you can imagine the marble as your spider traveling back and forth, back and forth, then you'll be able to build your own spider web. That's a great educational opportunity for kids to really understand firsthand and get that experience as to what it would be like yeah. as a spider. That's, <laughs> that's exactly right. And it might be a little bit more fun with paint than it is with, <laughs> with that. And then, of course, I brought some spiders with us, too. We pre-punched the holes in here so that then after they get through with their spider web, they can let it dry, but they also then can attach their spiders in here. Oh, that's a great idea. And then they're ready to go. Oh, how fun is that? That is great. And as always, we have lots of space for things to dry so that before they take it home, they can let it dry. And <laughs> Which as a parent, we appreciate. Thank <laughs> yes, you. Yes, 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 rather than walking around with wet painted papers. So you'll be able to hang that in your office as a you know, reminder that, that Halloween is coming. And then try and tell me, that, tell me that I'm not artistic. Look at that. Great did a good job. Thank we have you. lots of activities like this that we do and these are good for all ages. We have preschoolers that come in um, all the way up through. I'm sure since it's an out of school day we will have school age children too but it's fun for all ages to be able to do that and roll that around. Oh like sure it. that's that's fantastically fun. It's a quick and easy activity. Um, all of our activities are included with admission. Here's another one. This is fun for adults and everybody. Now, our hands are a little bit big for this. These are what we call feely boxes. Since we do deal with the five senses, this is for your sense of touch. Now, we've got strips over here, so you really can't see inside here. This is the feely box, so you can use your fingers okay. to try and figure out what it is. Now, if your whole hand doesn't fit in here, you can actually just stick your fingers in there. Um, this one is what a cat's tongue feels like. Okay. So, put your fingers in there. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just joking. <laughs> and what does oh, it wow. feel like? It's uh, kind of rough. Kind of feels like sandpaper. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah, definitely would feel just like a cat's tongue. Yeah, anybody who's ever been licked by a cat knows that it is a little bit of a rough feeling. Um, and actually, it is sandpaper in there. Oh, we okay. don't have a cat's tongue sitting in there. Um, well, all of the things that we have. <laughs> I was a little nervous about that. <laughs> will not. Some of the kids are, and they won't put their hands in there, and they want to look in there first and lift up all the pieces. <laughs> Um, we do have a hole in the front and in the back ah, so that okay. they can look in there if they'd like to be able to see. Um, but, but it does, you know, if you don't have a cat and you want to see what a cat's tongue feels like, we have that. And even if you do have a cat, that's just a great way to reinforce uh, what the sense of feel yes. and the importance of it. Yes. This one. Which is warts. Which is warts. Okay. So. 
Do I have to worry about washing my hands after this? Um, well, that would be up to you. A lot of little fingers have gone in there to feel <laughs> witches' warts. So. <laughs> oh, wow, yes. So how do witches' warts feel? Uh, they feel very bumpy, okay. very uh, solid, but they seem to have a little bit of give to them. Ooh, very good. Very similar to bubble wrap, I would say. <laughs> Now, since you are an adult, yes, you can also feel, as you should, you were absolutely right. Not only were you able to see that it felt like a witch's wart, but it is bubble wrap. There are lots of things around the house that feel like other things. And getting children to feel those things, use their sense of touch, and then describe what they feel. Like you were saying, well, it's kind of bumpy, but it's, you know, it's kind of solid, but then it gives a little bit too. Mm -hmm. um, helping them learn those descriptive words is very, very important for their vocabulary to be able to describe actually what they're feeling or what they're seeing. Definitely. Now, what uh, sort of age group would you specifically be targeting with something like this? Well, these are fun for everybody. As you said, you know, you stuck your hand in there first, and <laughs> which is what, you know, lots of dads will do when they have that opportunity. Um, some of the younger kids are, are still very leery. They will not do that. Um, we have some other uh, feely boxes that we use sometimes, and they actually have a lid that you can lift. So okay. once they feel, if they are so inclined, they can lift the lid to check themselves and see if they're right. Or sometimes we have to say, okay, look in here first. You know, <laughs> so that they're not scared, and then give them the opportunity to put their hand in there. Oh, but great. all of the activities that we do um, will help the children in some way, like I said, for all ages. Um, learn some kind of skill or practice some kind of skill. That's great. So the last one I have is eye-hand coordination. Ah, this one could be the one that gets me into trouble. Okay, it could. This is our eyeball and pumpkin. For our um, eyeball and pumpkin bounce here, we just have some ping pong balls that we have um, added to just a little bit to give them a Halloween feel to them. So we have our pumpkin and we have our eyeballs. Those are great. And then we have our, our cups here that are actually glued to the bottom of this box. Each one of these cups will have some kind of a little prize in it, either a piece of candy or maybe a spider ring or some other Halloween type thing. And what you do is you just have to throw the ball, bounce it, and get it to land inside the cup. Oh, if it okay. lands inside the cup, then you get to keep whatever treat is in there in the cup. Nice. So we have lots of balls, so you can have several attempts to try and figure out where you need to bounce it in order to make it bounce into the cups and stay there. Gotcha, okay. So that's a great fun game that we will play in just a minute. Excellent. Okay. Now. How much does it cost to take part in the Boobash? Boobash is included with regular admission. A regular admission is $7 per person. Under the age of two is free, um, and seniors are half price. We also have discounts for teachers and military. So um, everything that we do, all these extra activities um, during that Boobash time from 10 until 1 are included with your admission. Or if you're a family, you already have a family membership, mm -hmm. you can just walk in the door and yeah. participate. And just out of curiosity, how much is the family membership? Family membership is $70, uh, and it's good for one year from date of purchase. So Excellent. that will start um, from whatever day it's purchased, and, and we actually have some reciprocal memberships um, that come along with that membership, meaning people can have um, they can have it, their free admission to other museums in Florida. And during the months of October and November, we also have a reciprocal with Mosey over in Tampa. So oh, anybody right. who has a family membership with us can go over to Mosey also That's excellent. Um, and be able to participate. Mm -hmm. Now, I know uh, with Boobash, you also have another event happening on the 25th, I believe. We do. Th that same evening from 6 to 8 p.m., which is after it gets dark, oh. we have Kids Night at the museum. And for that event, we'll turn out the lights. Um, our emergency lights will stay on, so there are definite lights and some exhibit lights, but we'll turn off our regular lights and kids can explore by flashlight. And oh. it gives a whole different feel to the museum uh, to see it in the dark and to see the shadows. Um, nothing scary, it's just our regular museum. It just is a whole different place at night. Sure. Um, even, even with staff, as we turn out the lights to go home sometimes, we're a little bit taken aback by some things that do look very different in the dark. Now, where is the uh, museum located? Uh, we're at 109 North Kentucky Avenue in downtown Lakeland. We're right on the side of Munn Park, which is just in the center of downtown. And there's street parking. There's a parking garage behind us. Um, lots of places that people will be able to, to uh, park. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming out today and telling us about One this. One last thing. Oh, we please. do encourage people to come in costume. 
um, for that day. It'll be lots of fun. All of our staff will be in costume. We don't tell ahead of time what we're going to dress up as, but we are always in kid-friendly costumes. So we encourage anyone who comes down, parents included, to dress up for, for the holiday, for Halloween, and come and have a great time with us. This sounds like such a fun, both of these sound like such fun events. It's a fun event for the staff as well as for the kids. We enjoy <laughs> coming up with the ideas for, for the activities. We enjoy dressing up, and, and it's lots of fun to see all the kids too. Something that uh, makes all the hard work worth it is when you have yes. a little bit of fun, right? Yes, yes. We guarantee it'll be a fun day for everybody. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming out today and Thanks telling us all us. about this. We always love to come and bring and share our, share our activities with you. Oh, we love to have you. <laughs> if you are interested in finding out more information about either the Boo Bash, the Kids' Night at the Museum, or about Exploration 5's Children's Museum, the uh, best thing to do is to go to their website at www explorations v that's e x p l o r a t i o n s v dot com or you can call them at 863 687 3869this box over here and you might have to get out of your chair here ah, okay the object of the game is to bounce the ball and get it into the cup if you get it into the cup and it stays in the cup then you get the prize that's in the cup ah how many chances so, do I get well I have three balls so you have three chances to start with no pressure okay so Ooh. oh try again Having maybe the pumpkin will be easier there than you I go. having flashbacks to college Oh, that cup was empty. No. Shame. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Mwah. Ah. Oh, that was a good one. Well, don't get so the candy, but win. I had a lot of fun. Two out of three, you would have won.